my name's Peter Stoichev, and I'm a professor in the English department and also the Associate Dean of Humanities and Fine Arts in the College of Arts and Science at the University of Saskatchewan. In uh, the summer of 2000, I was working with a colleague of mine at the time, Andrew Taylor, on a project called The Future of the Page, where we were looking at where the page, what the page was likely to look like and how it would contain information in the digital age. So along the way we were hunting through special collections in the library and we discovered this box of medieval manuscripts. <laughs> the interesting thing about these manuscripts in this box is there are 50 of them, 50 pages. They're from the 1100s through to the 1500s. Um, they're all from different books, from different times, different monasteries in different countries throughout Europe and England because it said on the box that uh, this box was full of manuscripts that were collected by a fellow named Otto Eggie. He was a book collector and he collected medieval books. And he removed pages from 50 different books and, and then put the different pages from the different books, one from each book, into a box. And he did that with 40 different boxes and he sold the boxes around the world. Uh, each page is from a different what we feel that we're doing, in a sense, by putting this on the web is continuing his project of trying to uh, get the word out about how beautiful different kinds of medieval manuscripts were. And trying on the basis of that to reconstruct what one of the original books would have looked like. And so we're, we've got a computer program going where you can turn the pages of uh, one of the one of the books whose contents we've found around uh, in various countries. All of these large initial letters are done in gray. You read these pages not just in terms of the information that they yield with black type on a white background, but uh, it's the whole experience of looking at the beauty of, of the page. And hardly any part of a medieval page was, was left blank or vacant for the eye. And, and uh, that's not unlike contemporary web pages that are very, very visually, symbolically, iconically based. I mean, everything is graphics now. And that's what the medieval page was like. And gradually we lost that as we moved to more and more efficient methods of book production that were cheaper and cheaper. It is extremely moving to hold a page that was uh, created only through in many cases, literally hundreds of hours of collective human labor with different people having different jobs that um, added to what the page looked like. And I would not be doing this if it were not for the fact that I was at the U of S. Without having access to that uh, particular box, um, I never would have become interested in the medieval page per se, would never have been moved by holding a page uh, from the 1100s.